Hello and welcome to Safe Secure Surfing's installation and setup guide of ExpressVPN.com. So, we're going to go over here and go to Get ExpressVPN now. So, on this page, we can select our three different plan options on what we want to use. So, we can either go with a monthly reoccurring billing payment, six months, or 12 months. 12 months offers the best deal at $8.32 a month, so you save 35%. All of these prices are shown in US dollars. Okay, so we come down here, we'll enter in our email address, and then we select our payment method. So we want to go either with credit card, PayPal, Bitcoin, or others. So they also have some other uh, cryptocurrencies that you can use, and then some different other payment options uh, as well. So after we've done this, you'll be sent an email where you'll be given a link where you can, which will take you to a download spot to download the software. So you can upload it and install it on your computer. The other way of getting access to it is by going over to expressvpn.com and going to my account where you'll enter in your email address and then the password. Once you've done that, it'll take you to the main page where you'll have the option of downloading it under the setup ExpressVPN where you, and they'll also give you the activation code. And I'll give you a, bit, a little bit of information about your account and your subscription. So we're going to come over here and go to setupexpressvpn.com. So this will open up into a new window where now we're given the option of which system that we're using and we can select. So if we're using an Apple pro product or Mac computer or an Android uh, platform for your cell phone or iPhones, they've got uh, iPhone and iPad information as well and then different different ones uh, if you want to use it for your PlayStation or your Xbox or a Linux computer or things like that they have a bunch of different options that you can use for computer op operating systems since I'm using Windows on my PC we'll download for that so we'll come over here and we'll go to download and it will ask us to save the file and we will so we'll go ahead and save that file right now it's downloading and it's going to take about 20 seconds it looks like so we'll be right back after that downloads all right, welcome back. So I'm going to come up here into the, I'm using Firefox as my web browser. So they downloaded up here to this blue arrow. So I'm going to come up here and we'll just click on ExpressVPN, which I've downloaded. And now we're given the option to install it since I'm, or however we want to use it. So I'm going to come down here and click on the install button. And then it's going to ask me, since I'm using Windows 10 on my computer, it's going to ask us if we want to allow these changes to be made. Since it's coming from a website that I trust and I've made this purchase and I've downloaded it, we're going to say yes. So I come over here and it sets it up. It starts the setup process. So we're going to come down here and we'll click on next again. At this point we're given the option of where we want to uh, download the file to. So we can choose the default one or if you have another specific location where you want to put the file, a different file path name in, you can. So I'm going to go with next here because I'm happy with the default location. So now we're going to click on the install button for the installation and then it'll start installing. So here we have, are now given the option of launch ExpressVPN or we also have the option for to share some information with ExpressVPN. So we'll just leave those up for you to decide. I'm going to just leave both of them checked and we'll go to finish. We've now successfully completed the installation. So what we need to do is go back to either our email account and it'll take us to the link. It'll give us a link where we can get the activation code or we can go to an account that we've already opened up, which is what I've done. So I'm going to go back over here to my ExpressVPN subscription. I'll highlight the activation code. I'll right-click and copy. And then I'll bring back up the window where it's asking for the activation code. And we'll go paste. So we'll paste that in. And it's asking us if we want to launch ExpressVPN on startup, and I'm going to say yes. So we'll go OK. We've successfully activated it, and we can start using the app. So now we're given the option of selecting where we want to show uh, which servers we want to use of ExpressVPNs. The default one for me is Montreal, Canada. If I want to select different options, I can go here to select other locations, and they're given three options. We can go with the recommended. So they have the top recommendation, which is one that it defaulted to on the previous window. Then we have other recommendations, which are Canada, the in the United States, the United Kingdom, and a few in Europe, and then we've got one that's over in Hong Kong as well. Favorites, if you'd previously downloaded this and you could have saved some stuff, 
I don't have anything saved here. And then all locations gives you an option of picking between a bunch of different locations in the Americas and Europe, uh, Asia Pacific, and in Africa, and the Middle East, and India. I'm going to just go with one that they recommended. So I'll select Americas, then I'll select Canada, then I'll select uh, Montreal. There we've successfully set up ExpressVPN, and it's just down. It's just uh, logging onto the servers in Montreal right now. So that's where it'll be saying that I'm surfing from. Thanks so much.